Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kapil Gupta from IXSEED. We are a young company focused on banking and financial services industry. And we have a unique blend of products and services uh, on offer for the banking and financial services. With me on stage is Sudhir Babu. And two of us will today take you through a demo of Epsilon, our offering in the mobile application development space. Uh, let me just quickly take you through the unique features of uh, Epsilon. Uh, Epsilon is a platform which offers to a mobile app developer a unique blend of uh, agility, flexibility, and uh, huge platform, uh, multi-platform support. Uh, business uh, functions need to integrate with business services in the back end at enterprise level to offer the functionality desired by RMs, internal users, and to the customers. Over a period of time with the adoption of SOA, these services have become much more structured and much more defined. And we take great advantage of that in Epsilon to uh, develop a UI using the services as a base uh, in a very agile fashion. And Sudhir here will take us through uh, two of those examples quickly. Thanks a lot, Kapil. Very good morning to all of you. For the purpose of this presentation, I'm going to use a demo app that's been developed using Epsilon. Let me first log into this app. And here, this is a consumer banking customer app. Uh, in the login page, in, the, in this page, what you see is a snapshot of various assets and liabilities that the customer has with the bank. There are also different types of accounts. So let me just access the savings account type. What you see here is that there are three accounts the customer has, and you also see the last few transactions that have been done in those accounts. Let me go back to the landing page, and here we see, I click on payment, I get a message that page not found. And I also click on spend analyzer, I get a message that page not found. Now this is not an issue, we have left the app incomplete so that we can show you how in a matter of seconds we can develop these screens and embed this into the app and deploy it onto iPad. So for this, let me go to Aptilon, our platform. And I've assumed that you know there are different types of services available for spend analyzer as well as for uh, the bill payment. So for spend analyzer, I've assumed that there's an XST. So I'm going to import the XST here, and I'm going to choose the preferences of that XST. And when I click on that, you see that a page has been generated uh, by Epsilon by default without really doing any piece of development. And here you also have the integration component that has been built along with the binding that needs to be done with the service. Now with all these artifact artifacts automatically generated by Epsilon, the page is ready to be deployed as part of the app. But before we do that, let's quickly have a look at uh, all the UI design features through our design tool, uh, which are very useful to bring in the usability and look and feel uh, of uh, the app which is desired by the users. And Sudhir will show us some few examples of that. Let's say that you know what we saw was uh, two tables which were shown one below the other. So we would like to place them next to each other, and we would also like to change them to charts, which are much more intuitive to, to read. So let me just reduce the width of uh, these two quickly, and once I do it, after that I just need to drag and drop, I have the widget right next to it. The next step is to change it from table to chart. Now we have support for more than 40 charts. All that needs to be done by the user is to choose the chart. So I'm going to select here a column chart for the first one, and next I'm going to select, uh, once again, a chart. I'll change it, and I'm going to select an area chart. So after I've done this, I can have a look at the preview. You now see that uh, the screen has been modified and it's been now being represented using charts. The next thing is to build the bill payment service. Here I've assumed that there's a web service so that we can online interact with the web service. So I'm going to import the Vistal that is associated with the web service. The process is uh, very similar to what we did in case of XST. The only difference is that uh, even the service information can also be captured in case of a Vistal. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm capturing all the information, essentially the method for which I need to create the screen. So I capture the information, and again, the process is similar. I just need to have a look at the preview. The screen is ready. Now that we have a glimpse of the agility and flexibility of Epsilon, let's see uh, what are the multi-platform support which we offer as part of Epsilon. As you can see on the screen, we support all the leading uh, uh, OSs for uh, the mobility uh, industry, 
uh, and the device types. In addition, you will also see that we support uh, uh, apps to be developed and deployed on uh, desktops and laptops using the Windows and Mac OS uh, as the uh, operating systems. With gives us a, a capability to actually create apps not only which are customer facing or mobile devices uh, deployed, but even internal apps which uh, which are uh, aimed at the users uh, internally within the bank. And the great thing is uh, uh, that these apps can be all managed through one single platform including their mobile version as well as the version which gets deployed on the desktop. So it gives you one single platform where we can deploy all these apps. So now that uh, we have done these two additional uh, screens we have added uh, to the app, we will quickly show you a demo of uh, those two screens in the live app on the tablet. So the app has been installed, a modified app. So let me now uh, log into the app and I provide the credentials. to go through the password. And after I log into the app, let's look at this penalizer screen that we built. Here we see that the modified screen is now part of the app, and I can also access the payment screen, and I can do a payment transaction here. Let me quickly do a payment transaction. I can select the date. I can also give some amount, and I can include some particular description for the payment. Now, the, it's actually interacting with the service. You now see that the bill payment has been successfully processed. We can verify this as part of the account transactions, where you now see that uh, whatever payment we've done is now part of the account statement as well. Brilliant. With this, we conclude our uh, presentation for today. And thanks a lot for uh, this opportunity to present our product, product to you. Me and me, our team will be available uh, backstage uh, during the networking session, and we'll be more than happy to answer any queries. Thanks. Thank you.